Okay. Hey, we're glad you made it. Uh, Carl will be here in just a second. He's right over there. Okay, thanks. I'll see you there. So welcome, welcome to a special day of first and a notable second for OnePlus. As you can see, we're doing the world's first product launch in virtual reality. And it's also one of the first launches done together with our users. We chose this format for a very special reason. Our users are a part of our family. We're in this together. There isn't some wall between OnePlus and OnePlus fans. And therefore, I thought it wouldn't make sense to stand on some stage and talk down to you guys. That's the old way of doing things. Instead, we wanted to invite you to our office and launch our new product with us, shoulder to shoulder, side by side. But first, let's make clear of something. OnePlus was never conceived as a product, but rather as an idea. And today, we're taking that idea one step further. We didn't start one brand ambitions. We just wanted to make something cool. Wait a moment. I sit over there, by the way. So as a kid, you had all these wild dreams. You would think to yourself, why are things done this way? Why is it all the same? If I was responsible, I would do it better. And as a kid, you had the time to dream, and your dreams were pure, because no one told you what was possible and what wasn't. A blanket can make you a superhero, and a toy rocket could take you to outer space. In a way, OnePlus is a tribute to our childhood selves. Technology has fundamentally changed the way we live, and we want to add to that revolution, but do so in our special way. We've done a lot of crazy things because no one told us what was possible and what wasn't. And today, we're doing that again with the launch of the OnePlus 2. We're launching it in a way that's never been done before. And we chose this format for you, actually. Our community has been with us before we even had a product. It's the only reason why we exist. We have, and always will, build OnePlus together with our fans. We actually have a few of our fans in the office today. They've been playing around with the OnePlus 2 for a few days, and they're going to tell you all about it. So let's go talk to them. Hey, Christian, maybe you can tell us about your experience. Sure, Kat. I heard about OnePlus right at the beginning, um, but I actually realized it at our first contest, Phone in a Box. That's when I started. Hey, guys. Hi, Carl. Hey. Um, so. So. Uh, that's when I started following the development. Um, I, after I joined, um, I got more and more active on the forums. I started helping people out with their problems. They had sometimes flashing problems, for example. And I started tagging moderators. In September 2012, uh, 14 was it? Um, I joined the moderators team. And by the way, my username is GRCH if anyone wants to message. It was actually pretty amazing to see how the community is growing, um, not only on the forums, but also on other social media sites. And the forums, one of the best things OnePlus created. It connects basically everyone around the world. When the OnePlus One came out, I wasn't actually looking for a new phone, even though I had a really old one. Um, I nearly used it over three years um, because I didn't want it to invest 600 to 700 bucks into a new flagship. But then I saw the OnePlus One and it was just amazing, so I had to get it. And now I'm pretty excited for the two. And I really have to thank OnePlus, um, not only personally, but I think I can speak for the whole community, all your fans for all the friendships I was able to create and that you are all interactive actively with your customers and also for letting me part in the OnePlus family. So now we have new challenges. We have a new phone coming up. What are your thoughts on the new phone? Well, it's just, it's perfect. It's just everything fits together and it's just the basic design of the one is still here and the button placement and the camera, it's just all in all, just an amazing phone. So recently I've been reading on Twitter a lot of people like guessing the price of the phone. Yeah. What are your thoughts? 
Well, um, most of the people think it's up to five to six hundred dollars, but since you, um, since you're a startup and it was one of your goals to make a cheap phone, I think it's more like four hundred fifty dollars or something like that. All right, we shall see. Okay, and it's that community that makes us get up every morning and go against giants. And recently, we also had the opportunity to speak with a few more of our fans around the world, and this is what they had to say. The favorite moment is when I got the invitation. It was at 2 a.m. My roommate was sleeping right there. I woke him up. I'm like, hey, hey, bro, I got the invite. The phone is coming in like 10 days. When I got it, I was so excited. I was quickling like a little girl, like, ah, my kitchen's is here. Most memorable moment. It was when I opened the box, I suppose. I remember when I received it and I was showing everyone this packaging. Look at, look at the screen. So I hope the OnePlus 2 will have a better lens and optical image stabilization is the only thing I ask. <laughs> I think it will be again like with high-end specs. That's what I'm thinking all about right now. The best thing about uh, OnePlus is that they actually do talk to us and uh, they do listen to us. So it makes me feel like being a part of the whole company itself, not just of the community. It's not like you just bought a phone and then that's it, because there's the whole other thing surrounding it. never settle. They have to keep in mind, in heart. I will never settle for less. And I think the OnePlus made a very good job to create a company which is based on the users. The biggest thing I want to see with the new phone is a solid operating system. The battery life is awesome, so keep it that way. I need a bigger screen and also a bigger battery and a better camera. That's what I'm looking for in OnePlus 2. Make it a masterpiece. This is a story of OnePlus and me. And I could go on all day about our community, as you constantly inspire us to improve and do better. But now it's time to talk about what comes next. And it's a difficult question that we constantly ask ourselves. We are young. We lack experience, but after shipping more than a million devices, you learn a thing or two. And now our challenges are much bigger than before. The whole world expects much more from OnePlus. To be honest, when we started this company, we had no idea where this would all lead to. We thought that we could do better than what was currently out there in the market, and we focused on creating amazing products. But lately, we have been thinking, talking, and debating on not just how to make a better product, but on how to do something more meaningful. And we still think that a phone can change the world. So what does that mean for OnePlus? Hey, Pete. Hi. I've been telling our fan a little bit about our company. Do you want to talk about our product philosophy? Sure. OK. Hi. We started OnePlus to build a company that's truly focused on products and the users. We build products that our users really want. We do that by focusing on just more than just the specs. That is not to say high-end specs aren't important. They are and we have them. But they are just a piece of the puzzle. We care more about experience, design, feel in the hand, and the Oxygen OS which we built to be fast and light. We are guided by you, our friends, and we are not afraid to make revisions until every small detail is, is right. That is what we did with the OnePlus One.
and uh, we have done it again with one plus two. I agree. Thank you, Pete. You're welcome. All right, let's move on. Bye. So the one plus two is super important for us because we have to show the world, but more importantly ourselves, that the success of the one wasn't just a fluke. It has to make a big impact. So I'd be lying if I said that our team wasn't worried about this or didn't lose sleep over this. I think a lot of us had this thought in the back of our minds. What if we couldn't top it? So we spent a year on this project, looking through a lot of community feedback and making more than 100 product revisions. The final result, the one plus two. I think for a lot of us, the first time we saw the product, a lot of our fears just melted away because in our minds, we had made something much better than before. But ultimately, it doesn't matter what we think or if we're confident or not. Our customers and our user base will ultimately decide whether or not this product is a success. Thanks. So specs are boring. Specs are the least interesting part of any product. When you always talk about never settle, you can't nurse. So of course the OnePlus 2 has some of the best specs available on the market. For the processor, it went straight to Qualcomm's top, the blazingly fast Snapdragon 810. The OnePlus 2 also has 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, a 5.5 inch 1080p display, and a 3300 milliamp battery. Speaking of blazing, I'm actually having a call with Tim McDonnell, VP of Marketing at Qualcomm, to learn a little bit more about Snapdragon 810. Hey Tim, how are you? Hi Carl. We're launching the OnePlus 2 now in the world's first virtual reality launch. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Snapdragon 810? Sure. Uh, Qualcomm's honored to be collaborating with OnePlus on the launch of your latest smartphone, the OnePlus 2, powered by the Qualcomm C10 processor. Last year's launch of the OnePlus One was the culmination of a vision to develop a high-performance smartphone built around the community, and you guys really nailed it. Uh, we're even more excited about the OnePlus Two, now you've taken this vision even farther. Our engineers worked tirelessly to ensure that everything was perfectly tuned for the absolute best performance, and the result's amazing. The Snapdragon 810 processor inside the OnePlus Two is our most advanced chip yet. Thanks to its high-performance processing, it's optimized to deliver the best possible experience you can get in a smartphone today. You'll notice a huge difference in nearly every part of the OnePlus 2, including media playback, gaming, battery life, and imaging. One of the things that stands out to me is the fantastic digital imaging experience on the OnePlus 2. The Snapdragon 810 processor actually has two 14-bit image sensors that make it possible for both the front and rear cameras to take amazing pictures. The state-of-the-art Qualcomm Adreno 430 GPU produces realistic 3D scenes and console quality graphics that bring your gaming experiences to life. And finally, the 2 gives you the thrill of 4G LT speeds with the convenience and flexibility of dual SIM. You can carry one phone instead of two, pick the best plans, stay in touch with the people you care about, and you don't have to give up LT speeds to do it. Now, by building its latest phone around the Snapdragon 810 processor, OnePlus has once again shown that it's possible to design a phone without compromise. Congratulations. All right, thank you for your support, Tim. Like we said before, a product is so much more than its specs. We want you to judge it for yourself, so we prepared a product video.
Hey, Mom. Um, now is not the best time? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. So here it is, the one plus two. Isn't she beautiful? The one plus two was largely a product created for you, so it's only fitting that we're introducing it together with you, our fans. Like I said before, we invited some of our fans to come to our office and see the one plus two before anyone else. They've been here for a couple of days and they're gonna launch the product together with me. So Oliver, you've been playing with the two for a couple of days. What do you think about its design? Um, for me, the first thing I noticed about the OnePlus 2 is the amazing build quality premium feel of design, the design. And that's really helped by the magnesium aluminium alloy frame that runs around the um, phone. Um, but also the polished steel buttons uh, just around the edge of the phone. So I noticed that some brands, they like to put their logos on the front. Like, what's your preference? Um, I don't like that at all. Uh, the OnePlus 2 doesn't do that. They don't shove branding in your face. It's just a clean design on the front. Um, it's not like the other flagships that just shove logos right in your face. So a lot of our users on the forums, they've had like intense debates on whether or not we should have the back button on the left side or the right side. What's your take on that? Well, the buttons on this device are just simple dashes and they're completely customizable. So you can set like home button and which one's your back button. And it's really down to you. And when you're not using the phone, they just dim and disappear, so you can just focus on what's important, which is the screen. Oh, okay, cool. And Ali, do you want to talk about the camera? So yeah, um, let me start with photography. Basically, it's been one of my major hobbies for the past six or seven years now. And um, I first found out about OnePlus just over a year ago. And as, as soon as I got my hands on the One, it has been my main camera ever since. Smartphone cameras in general have changed our generation for the better. Now that we all have cameras in our pocket at all times, ready to capture those important moments in life and those unimportant moments in life, not to mention taking a quick selfie or a quick pic of a cheeky Nando's with the lads. So with the, the, two, the three main things we asked OnePlus for in the two was faster focusing, better image stabilization, and better low light performance. And the beauty of OnePlus is you normally get what you ask for. So with the two, it has a 13 megapixel rear camera. But more importantly, the pixel sensor size is 1.3 microns, which is essentially 35% larger than most other smartphones right now. What this does is it lets in more light, so there's less noise. And the pictures are extremely clear, even in low light conditions. The other thing in the two, is the optical image stabilization system, which basically steadies the lens for clear shots even when you're shaking. So if you're taking videos, and let's say I'm moving the camera from like left to right, the two knows to cancel this out, so the video still comes out pretty clear. The other thing is the new, um, like it's an awesome laser system basically, and what that does is it scans the scene for the perfect focus point, it's positioned right underneath the camera lens. So it knows what you're trying to focus on. So I could be, with the two, I could be focusing on Carl, and then I move to Oliver, and the two knows to focus on Oliver straight after. And it's really fast. It takes less than 0 0.3 seconds to do this. Right now, I feel totally comfortable not having a dedicated camera on me when traveling, or even at all, as long as I've got my two on me. Hmm. So when you get the OnePlus 2 for the first time, yeah. what's the first photo you're going to take? It'll probably be a selfie. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's next? Uh, do you want to talk about display? Yeah. Um, the display is an incredibly important part of the, de uh, the design because it's the thing you're going to be interfacing with, it's the thing you're going to be seeing all the time. But I don't care too much for buzzwords like 4K and 2K, Quad HD, because at the moment the technology is just not quite there and all it's going to do is drain your battery. Um, the OnePlus team have kept it real with a 5.5 inch 1080p display which still delivers crisp, clean images and that's also because of the 1500 to 1 contrast ratio so the blacks are really black. Um, but it's not the same display as the OnePlus One, right? No, it's not. The screen is bloody bright. It's brighter than any flagship phone on the market so when you're using it in direct sunlight you'll still be able to see everything on the screen. But the array also goes incredibly dim so when you first wake up, it doesn't blind you. 
and that's also helped by the dark UI mode in Oxygen OS. So the other day I was in a taxi and there was sunlight coming in directly from the back and I could see everything on my screen perfectly. So that was super surprising. So uh, shall we take a selfie? Yeah, sure. You want to yeah. do it? So thank you to Christian, Oliver, and Ali for telling us about the OnePlus 2. But there's a lot more to talk about. I want to share with you what sets the OnePlus 2 apart and also what sets the future direction for our industry. One of such things is USB Type-C. So the OnePlus 2 comes with a USB Type-C port and a cable. And what this means is that you can charge your phone in either orientation, like this. But also, and this is 100% unique to OnePlus, the other side of the USB cable is also reversible, and it's one of our patents. The USB Type-C standard sets you ahead of the curve and also makes sure that your OnePlus 2 is future-proof for years to come. And a small, simple adapter allows you to use your old cables and accessories with the OnePlus 2. Our phones have become an extremely important part of our lives. It's a collection of things that matter the most to us. People, photos, and information. Nowadays, losing your phone is more devastating than losing your keys. You want to keep your phone secure, but how do you balance the conflict between security and convenience? You want to protect yourself and your data, but you don't want the annoyance of having to unlock your phone multiple times a day. Our solution, the OnePlus 2, comes with a fingerprint sensor. And not just any sensor. Our sensor is extremely easy to use, allows you to store up to five fingerprints, and a simple press takes you to the home screen. Oh, did I say it's fast? It's super fast. Faster than our iPhones. And it's secure. So let's do a demo. Hey, David. Which brings us to another point. It's not uncommon for the need to suddenly arise to silence your phone. And you don't always have the ability to, to do so. To unlock your phone, find the right menu, and silence it. Especially not when you're filming the first virtual reality launch. So what we've done is we made a dedicated hardware switch, something we call the alert slider. So the alert slider allows you to toggle from no notifications to priority notifications to all notifications while the phone is still in your pocket. David, time to upgrade. Cool. Thank you. So what's I going to talk about? All right, I want to talk about the style swap covers. So style swap covers allow you to customize the back of your phone in different beautiful materials. The OnePlus 2 comes with our signature sandstone black style swap covers. But this time around, we made four additional covers in premium materials. In addition, we changed the style swap system so it's much faster and more intuitive to use than last time. Let's do a demo. Lucy, Braden, you guys ready? Yeah. I'm going to set a timer on my phone. Okay. Ready, set, go. See? It's mere seconds. Let's talk about the software that powers the OnePlus 2, Oxygen OS. Today, Android offers a great user experience out of the box, and we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. We believe that users place things like stability, performance, and battery life above gimmicky features, so that's what we chose to focus on with Oxygen OS, a powerful Android experience. To be clear, Oxygen OS is not pure Android. We made subtle changes on top of the OS, but made sure that every change we made added a significant value to the user experience. Let me go through a few of those. We've always been about user freedom and customization, and it's no different with Oxygen OS. And with dark mode, you can quickly turn your entire system UI dark with a flick of the switch. With color mode, you can quickly fine tune the accent colors throughout your system. In addition, Oxygen OS natively supports icon packs in many different formats, allowing you to drastically change the look and feel of your device 
with a simple switch. There's also features like fine-tuning your LED indicator and your icon grid size and more. We've also built a brand new beautiful camera app into the OnePlus 2. It's simple but loaded with powerful features and there's also a super resolution mode that allows you to take 50 megapixel camera photos in stunning clarity. Slow motion mode allows you to capture slow motion videos in up to 120 frames per second and there's also an automatic time-lapse mode. Security was a huge focus when building Oxygen OS. With app permissions, you can fine-tune just exactly what each and every app has access to. Things like location, contacts, and identity. Is there an app notification that's bothering you? Turn it off. It's your phone. Don't let it be controlled by your apps. So I'd like to summarize the OnePlus 2 in four concepts. One, better specs than anything out there. With the Snapdragon 810, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, 64GB of storage, a large 3300 battery. It's got one of the best 5.5 inch 1080p displays in terms of color and calibration, and also got LT dual SIM support globally. This thing is beyond powerful and will be future proof for years to come. Number two, one of the best cameras in both daytime and nighttime. With a large 1.3 micron sensor, it lets in much more light than before. And with the OIS sensor, it compensates for shakiness, allowing you to take much clearer photos. And the laser focus makes sure you never miss that shot again. So I'm really looking forward to traveling with the OnePlus 2 and taking a lot of amazing shots. Three, gorgeous design. No distracting logos on the front or tacky textures on the back. The OnePlus 2 comes in subdued colors with our signature sandstone black texture. This thing is a beauty. The first time you see it and every time thereafter. And finally, features and innovations from the future. USB Type-C, the fingerprint sensor, our patented reversible USB, our alert slider, and our style swap covers. I'm sure that our competitors will take note next year. Again, just to summarize, better specs than anything out there. One of the best cameras in both daytime and nighttime. Gorgeous design and features from the future. The OnePlus 2 is not a flagship from 2015. We call it the 2016 flagship killer. Although we learned a lot from the OnePlus One, to manage our user experience and manage our risk, we're rolling out the OnePlus Two with invites. But this time we made a few changes to make the entire process much more seamless. For one, we're more confident about our demands, so we have much more inventory right from the beginning. What this means to you is that it's going to be a lot easier to get an invite. Like now. We also have something we call the reservation list. Simply log in to oneplus.net, enter your email, and you'll be in line to get the invite as soon as it's available. Of course here, we're going to prioritize our early forum members. Everyone that buys the OnePlus 2 will get invites to share, but this time around, it's going to happen a lot faster than before. So by now you're probably wondering, when can I get my hands on the OnePlus 2? Well, the OnePlus 2 is going to be available for sale in the United States, Canada, India, European Union, and China on August 11th. In Q4 of this year, we're rolling out in Southeast Asia. Woo! What? Hey, it's not for now. <laughs> now, what? Where was I? Uh, we planned a surprise for you guys. We'll be setting up pop-up stores in nine of our most popular cities around the world. We'll be flying our staff all across the world. There, you can get a hands-on with the device, talk to us, ask us questions, and also maybe even receive an invite with goodie bags. Check out oneplus.net for dates and times, and we hope to see you there. So thank you. Thank you to our partners and the entire OnePlus team. But more importantly, thank you to you, our fans. We wouldn't be here without you. Thank you for your criticism 
and expectations. They're not a burden, but rather a badge of honor. We told you to never settle, and we're proud that you're constantly making us question our every move. It's made us better and stronger. We are young, we are still learning, and we are still growing. But just like you, we will never settle. Hey, guys, 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 can we wrap it up? Oh, I'm going to turn off the light now. Oh, it's fine. We're done anyway. Oh, no, no, no. Huh? You forgot the price. Oh, right. The price. What's the one plus two going to cost again? Well, we, we can look at the other flagship in this year. I say I'm lying. Got to say i six, iPhone six. They all cost more than seven hundred dollars since the one plus two is a newer and a more p uh, premium device. So it should cost them more than the one plus one. Yeah, I think I've read rumors on Twitter that it's going to cost around five hundred dollars. We of course we we know why. The one plus two is a true flagship killer, but. Never settle. It's time for us to tell you the price of the 60, 64 gigabytes, the OnePlus 2 is. Huh? Hey, what? what? Why? I've already told you guys. Lights out.